Good day all. As you've noticed, commodities are up, gold, oil, traveling higher, and that means commodity linked currencies such as the Australian dollar and the Canadian dollar have also gained in strength this week. There's a big case for the Aussie bull as iron ore exports are on the up to China, China back into work, economy running, economic activity up in Australia as well as they reopen their economy. So there's a big case for the bull trade on the Australian dollar, especially as we look at this chart here. This is a weekly time frame. You can see it's peaked above that key resistance area following a three or four week high. Now for oh, four weeks, it's tried to defeat that 65, 69 level. Now entering a key zone that we saw a high from earlier on this year, uh, potentially aiming now at the 67 cent mark. Longer term view for the bulls is of course the 70 cent target, which was pretty much the norm throughout the course of last year. You can see a big rejection down below the 55 cent level. So we've pretty much recovered all of those losses initially um, seen from the lockdown and of course the COVID-19 pandemic. Now it's all about the recovery in both the equity markets and the FX markets with the Aussie being bid potential case for a cross above if we can manage to close above this 65, 69 level. So key levels to watch, of course, it could also play as a key resistance level and continue to consolidate within this area above the 63, 70 mark. So do keep your eyes on the Australian dollar as well as, well as other commodity linked currencies as the week progresses and as we see potential strength gaining in both oil and gold. Eyes on the Aussie.